Hi guys, Lemmy here. Welcome back to another art video. Today we're going to be comparing six different brands of golden paint. One of them is acrylic, but the other five are going to be watercolor. Some of the companies don't advertise them as watercolor, but they are reactive to water as in you need water to get them going and then once you put them down if you put water on them again they'll reactivate and move around so we're going to call five of them watercolor and one of them acrylic if you want the permanence of it so why am i doing this it's a good question i mean i wanted to paint one picture with gold paint in the composition and it turned into a fiasco when i went on amazon and i looked at all of these different paints and I didn't know exactly what the differences between all of them were and I figured since so many people on YouTube and in real life oh my god real life sound creepy um, really enjoy using gold paint I figured hey I'll just buy these six different paints I'll compare them so you don't have to was this the wisest investment of money no it wasn't but we're gonna do it anyway First up, we have Prima Marketing Watercolor Confections Artist Quality Watercolor Pan Set. And Prima Marketing has a whole bunch of different little pan sets um, called confections. So if you don't want these specific colors, they do have other options available. The set is called Shimmering Lights, and it has 12 pans in the set, and they're all kind of a golden color. Um, it says on the back that watercolor confections are artist grade, high quality, and highly pigmented watercolor pans. Watercolor confections are sized perfectly for artists on the go. Not really sure why you would need to go on the go with these, but <laughs> I guess. These professional grade paints provide bright, intense, smooth, and long lasting colors that will work beautifully for any art or mixed media project. And inside the package, it includes 12 colors a metal palette tin, and inside the metal palette tin it includes two fold-out mixing areas. And for funsies, these are made in Korea. When testing this against the other paints, I noticed that these are the most like a watercolor set. You can use them to create an entire picture because you do have color options, even though they're kind of slightly varied. They behave a lot like watercolors where they're not as sparkly or in your face, but they have a really pretty shimmer to them. So these are not very loud, but they're the only set of paint that I've tried that aren't loud, but they still shimmer, which is really cool. Next up, we have Fine Tech Pearl Colors, and these are meant for calligraphy. They're made in Germany. So these are probably the gold paints that you think about when you think of watercolor gold paint because I see so many people have this brand. Um, the packaging says, mix colors with a brush and a bit of water until the desired consistency is reached. I guess consistency is reached. Colors can be used on nearly all surfaces. So this one has six colors. It's Tibet gold, Inca gold, Arabic gold. Oh, wait, <laughs> I'm reading. I gotta read the English part. Gold pearl, I was thinking that's not a word I know. Moon gold and sterling silver. So these are made in Germany. They come in a really cool plastic container and each of the pans is replaceable A, but also in the, the plastic set, you can push them down, because when you first see them, they're kind of all over the place, but you can um, push them into a spot and they won't be moving anywhere, which is cool. I love these um, compared to the Gonzai Tambi, only because of the container they came in and I love the texture of the pans because it makes it really easy because you need a lot of water and you need to kind of move it around and play with it to get the paint to come up. Um, so the texture kind of helps you get into a groove where you can keep the water in one spot and move it around and really mix it up and get the paint in there. So that's pretty helpful. Also, I love the container. As I said earlier, you can replace pans really easily 
and it's a really nice presentation. The colors, now the way these behave is that when, when you put the water, it becomes extremely sparkly um, with that kind of, you know, what you would think of when you say gold paint. It's not like, like metal gold, it's very sparkly gold. So these are almost exactly like the Gonzai Tambi ones, except for there's one difference in colors. Also, I've noticed that it's really easy for these paints to show their texture. So if you don't get the consistency right, right away, um, and you start adding kind of multiple layers of the paint, and then you tilt it against the light, you can see all the texture of how you were trying to make it opaque if it doesn't actually become opaque. So there's a little warning there. You can um, spread it out with water, it becomes less, not opaque, but the sparkles are more dispersed farther away from one another, so it's not as intense. Next up is two different tubes of watercolor paint by Daniel Smith. They are two different labels and they act completely differently. One is Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolors, but the Primatech label, and I got the color Bronzite Genuine. The other one is Daniel Smith Luminescent Watercolors in Iridescent Gold. So these are both tubes. I kind of recommend that you leave them as tubes though because when you squeeze them, um, the paint out of the tube, it has like a certain kind of consistency so it's really easy to lay thick applications and then kind of thin them out. So it's nice to have that option so you're not kind of like scraping up the paint color in your, your pan once you lay them down let them dry. So the iridescent gold is kind of what you would think when you think of gold paint. It's very sparkly. Not that gold in real life is actually very sparkly, it's just kind of a color and it's shiny. So it's like that sparkly, fake, really flashy gold that all of the colors have. Um, all the brands of that color, I guess, have like a similar idea. Like, I guess that's metallic. It's not really metal. It's kind of like different, um, but where the that is kind of like the the standard gold color, we have bronzite genuine, which is a different color but a totally different consistency. And bronzite genuine or the Primatech label is sort of like you're painting with a color. Okay, hear me out. You're painting with a color, but that color is laced with rocks, okay? And I have like this poop brown color, right? And like, it came out of the tube really gross, and I was thinking, oh my god, this thing's disgusting. It looked and it felt like gritty sand as I was putting it down, but once it dried, it looked completely different. All the little rocks that they kind of, I don't want to really call them rocks, but I guess they're like sediment or, um, you know, just shiny things that come from the ground. When it dries, it's like any other rock. When it's wet, it doesn't look as sparkly, but then when it dries, you can see like all the different mica pieces and things like that reflecting from the sun. So one is kind of like laced with all these really pretty, shiny, like rock-like texture, and the other one is that gold paint, that, that shiny gold, sparkly paint. So they're completely different and you can get totally different looks um, from buying two different tubes. Both tubes are premium artist grade and they're made in the United States of America. Next up we have a set of six colors by Kuratake and it's called Gonzai Tambi Starry Colors. These are water-based pigments. Uh, let's see here. Golden pearl tinted Gonzai for professional artists and crafters, ideal for calligraphy, illustrations, brush lettering, and more. The colors are blue gold, red gold, yellow gold, champagne gold, light gold, and white gold. 
I feel like Dr. Seuss right now. <laughs> Apply wet or brush with color to activate it. Gonzai pans may exhibit cracking due to extreme dryness. However, it does not affect their quality. Occasionally, Gonzai pan texture may look rough due to tiny air bubbles, which can occur during production, which does not affect their quality. Oh, please note, not intended for use by children. When in store, keep Gonzai pan horizontally with palette facing upwards. Do not leave in direct sunlight or high temperatures. Do not use for a purpose other than as intended. Wash your brush after use. Make sure palette is dry before storing. These are made in Japan and they are extremely similar looking to the Fine Tech brand. Six colors except that there are one set of colors that look different from each other and it's the one that's fourth and over, so it's like fourth in line. Um, the Gonzai Tambi have kind of like a, um, technically that one looks similar. Okay, they all look insanely similar, except there is one from the Fine Tech that is kind of a orangey gold but it's like in between yellow and orange, so it's kind of like a peachy gold. And it's a little bit, Fine Tech is a little more intense than the Gonzai Tambi ones, um, as, as far as color. Um, the Gonzai Tambi ones kind of have a little bit, compared to that one color, a little bit more of a delicate color. Um, and the fine tech is more kind of like in your face with that one color. Otherwise, the colors are pretty much exactly the same. They behave exactly the same and they look exactly the same. <laughs> While I do like the selection of colors by Gonzai Tambi more than the fine tech based on that one color, I also really hate their presentation because it's extremely cheap. They don't come within a box of any sort or palette of any sort. So you just get these giant pans that don't really accommodate any pan that you might have on hand. So you'd have to use magnets and metal tins to make your own palette and it's just a pain in the butt. So it's kind of like a real bummer when they give you a weird sort of pan full of paint because you can't really easily I guess store it in a nice container. You kind of have to stick with the cardboard, well it's very, <laughs> very uh, flimsy cardboard box that it comes with. So that really sucks and that would be the reason why I'd probably get the Fine Tech over the Gonzai Tambi is just because of the container because that was really a letdown. I was kind of bummed out but I do believe that the Gonzai Tambi, I did get these all off of Amazon, was cheaper than the Fine Tech. So I guess it's kind of like what you afford or what you're looking for and if you want that more delicate color or like the more like vibrant in your face color that Fine Tech has. Lastly, we have Golden Fluid Acrylics, and this color is Iridescent Gold Deep, and in parentheses it says Fine. Light Fast is excellent. The Fluid Acrylics are not like heavy body acrylics. They're more like you squeezed some paint out of a, a tube of watercolor paint, and they're still wet and they move around, and you don't need to add water to move them. Um, they're, they're probably a little bit even more easy to move around than if you got the tube paint out of the acrylics. So these, these feel really nice when you use them immediately. I wouldn't let them sit around too long because acrylics dry really quickly. Produced with 100% acrylic polymer dispersion. Don't know what that means. Shake or stir gently before use. Excess, excessive shaking generates foam. Clean with soap and water. Yeah, this one has mica particles in it. So, golden artist col colors are located, hey, in New York. That's where I live. 
They're located in New York, so from the U.S. of A. These are permanent. When you put them down, you let them dry, and then you put water on top of them, they will not be reactivating. So if you want a really level coverage that is opaque, these probably will be your best friend because they're easiest to apply. Also, if you add more water, you can thin them down and get a more watercolor texture. But once again, when it dries, it's staying there. It's not going. I'm going to show you an up-close shot of all the products that I'm reviewing today, but I'm also going to show you the samples that I made with the colors so that you can kind of see them all together and see if you can easily pick out um, something that looks better than something else. I feel like if it's side by side that might help you guys somehow, but it really depends on how you tilt the pieces against the light because they all have different looks to them. Today's picture that I am coloring is just a little doodle I did in a live stream. I did all the unboxings in front of my stream and I was like, I don't know what to draw. So I just kind of drew a picture of myself with all of my mods and their subscription stars. It's a thing I do on my channel or my, is it a channel? Technically on Twitch? Yeah, it's a channel on Twitch. Whatever. It's a thing I do when you subscribe, you get yourself a star and I make it custom for you. It has a little face and everything. So I drew all of my mods and at the very end you'll be able to see all of their names because I flip their stars over. So if you want to know who's who, go ahead and take a look. As for this picture, I did use all the different kinds of paint. Um, I was really impressed with the watercolor by Prima Marketing because of the shimmer. It's very slight, but it's the thing that is most apparent, I feel like, um, when I first begin this video and I'm painting the character. The background, however, I used a mixture of Fine Tech and the Gonzai Tambi. And you can see right away when I apply the very delicate colors in the background that the camera is able to pick up how shiny it is really easily, whereas the watercolors are a little bit more subdued. I used the Bronzite Genuine, the one that's made with rocks pretty much. <laughs> I mean seriously, it's kind of like sand when it's being, when the water's coming in from the tide and you see all the sand moving around. It's so much like that. So I used the Bronzite Genuine to just do the darker colors that I needed in the picture. It's really cool if you need sparkle and texture at the same time. It's very eye-catching. Um, the Iridescent Gold by Daniel Smith I used to do parts of the background because it comes from a tube. It's easy to get thick applications, so I used that to my advantage when I made the clouds. And then finally I used the Golden Fluid Acrylics at the very end to make some clean strokes. I was running out of things to use them for, honestly, because I bought so many colors and I want to try them for different things, but I mean, there's only so much you can do in a little simple picture like this. All in all, the Fine Tech and the Gonzai Tambi have pretty much the same, the same look to them. The Golden Fluid, fluid Acrylic shines because you can't reactivate it and you can have heavy application. If you want something that has a heavy application that you can kind of lighten up after you decide you don't like it, then the Iridescent Gold by Daniel Smith is a good bet because you can just apply it immediately from the tube and get that really nice coverage that I was talking about. Bronzite Genuine from Daniel Smith is really an eye catcher. It has a lot of sparkle to it because of the minerals. I mean, dude, what is minerals that they put in it? <laughs> is it a mineral? Is it a rock? I don't know what you call it. Because when, when it says um, pigment, it just says genuine bronzite. So I don't freaking know what that is. But 
These are really cool. They come in different colors too with different kinds of rocks. I know they have like an amethyst one that I heard someone on Twitch was saying that it was absolutely gorgeous. So if you just kind of want a color paint, but with beautiful sparkle to it, then the Daniel Smith Primatech labels what you're after. All in all, um, I do want to say that the iridescent gold from Daniel Smith and Golden and the Gonzai Tambi and the Fine Tech are all extremely similar. It just depends how you want to use the paint. What's the method that you like to paint with? Do you want to water it down? Do you, do you not want to water it down? You know, it's, it's kind of like that. Because I know a lot of people on YouTube will make really thick applications of the gold paint. So if you're going for thick, it's either the Daniel Smith or the acrylic. But if you want something a little bit more dainty, you might want to go with the Fine Tech or the Gonzai Tambi because they add kind of that sparkly metallic gold that's really super eye-catching when you tilt the page at the right angle. So yeah. If you guys have any questions, I would be more than happy to answer it for you if I can. Um, it's kind of difficult to describe the difference between the paint because if my camera can't pick it up so that you see it yourself, you kind of have to rely on my words. And I mean, how many different ways can you describe six different types of paint that all look gold? It's kind of, it's kind of impossible to me. I don't know. I hope that you guys found this video helpful, and I'll see you next week for another art video. I want to take this time, however, to thank all of my moderators in my Twitch chat. You guys are the best, and I'll talk to everybody again next week in another art video. For real, I'm going this time. Okay, bye. <laughs>